What if I told you that a fan, living in his mom's basement, managed to create a total drama season so good that it became a serious threat to the popularity of the new fresh TV series with just one episode? This creator started a whole total drama civil war between Fresh TV and its fans. This is the story of how a random fan assembled the Avengers team, produced a whole new total drama, went trending on YouTube and made the whole community happy just for his work to get completely erased from the internet by Fresh TV. This is the story of the triumph and downfall of total drama reunion and its future comeback. Everything began in the summer of 2020, when, for a well-known reason, we all had more time at our disposal. Some of us tried to fill our time away from society with everyday activities, and some of us tried to beat the huge magnate company Fresh TV at its own game. For those of you who don't know, Fresh TV is a production company who owns the rights for big shows like Total Drama, 16, and My Babysitter's a Vampire. So, out of pure passion and the desire of a big fan to recreate the feeling of seeing his beloved characters again, Total Drama Reunion was brought to life. The season was released on the 30th of January 2020. With only one episode, the creator, Blue Productions, reached the milestone of 1 million viewers on YouTube. For instance, the most watched episode of Total Drama Island had only 800,000 viewers. Although YouTube views and TV views aren't really comparable, they clearly show the fans' appreciation of the new concept. The fan-made Total Drama reunion was so successful that the fans completely forgot about Dramarama. This and the fact that the characters used are fresh TV intellectual property angered the creators of Total Drama. They later issued a cease and desist order to Blue Productions. On the 3rd of February 2021, the first episode of Total Drama Reunion was taken down. But what made this season so popular compared to the other Total Drama fan-made seasons? What was Fresh TV's response and how did it start a civil war? And most importantly, what is the future of Total Drama Reunion and its main antagonist? Despite being an underdog in the world of cartoon creations, Blue Productions crafted a storyline that captured the hearts and admiration of millions of fans. But how can someone completely unknown write a better script than entire paid teams? In fact, if we stop for a moment to analyze things, it is quite simple. As there is an old saying, if you want to understand someone, you have to put yourself in their shoes. Being a diehard fan of Total Drama, Blue Production perfectly understood what millions of fans wanted to see in the Total Drama universe. Moreover, he knew that the OG cast has a special place in our hearts, and that we would like to see more about their personal lives after the completion. And not just that, Blue Production went above and beyond to assemble the dream team of Total Drama fanatics to create the ultimate fan-made season. The visual effects, the casting voice, the storyline, all of these were incredibly good compared to the other fan-made seasons. And unlike the official Total Drama seasons that tend to repeat the same idea, the story behind this project was much different. During the first and only episode, we are shown how things evolved over time for contestants. It's like the basic reunion at your school. Some are now married with kids, some are driving fancy cars, and some have a meth addiction. So for short, Sierra and Cody are now together, Duncan is a mechanic, Trent is a singer, Jeff and Bridget have two kids, and Courtney is a lawyer. And she is suing Chris McLean for all the dangerous situations they underwent in all the past seasons. From the very first moments of the episode, we're presented with a first plot twist in which Courtney's plans to do justice are ruined by the great antagonist of this season, who became a total game changer in total drama, Reynold Chaddington. But wait, who the f even is this guy? Ronald Chaddington is presented as a very rich and stylish man. He represents the network and is eager to free Chris McLean to bring Total Drama back to the heights of success. He offers the modest amount of $10,000 to release one huge egomaniac just to bring Total Drama back to glory. Even though the season didn't continue, we must admit that the antagonist would have been really interesting to watch. Fans were so hyped out for the season that they started even comparing it to Total Drama World Tour. But here's the catch. The characters Blue Productions used were considered intellectual property of Fresh TV. Although he mentioned in the credits that he dedicated the entire project to the original Total Drama team and to Christian Potenza, thanking them for making his childhood great, their response was not as friendly as he expected. 
Moreover, Blue Production seems to have known this fact. It is possible that the thanks at the end was a strategy to make Fresh TV let him continue the series, but Fresh TV wasn't having any of that. Fresh TV removed the video from YouTube because of copyright. After hearing that, the fans got so outraged that the team of directors needed to answer the hate with a response video. After some time, Christian Potenza, Chris McLean's voice actor at the time, and a supposed spokesman for Fresh TV stepped in and made a video about the situation. The answer didn't exactly satisfy the fans, considering that he used this way to promote Drama Rama, which the fans hate till this day. Moreover, he insulted the show and the creators by comparing Total Drama Reunion to an ordinary animation made in his basement just for fun. Just because you can make a cartoon in your basement with a couple of friends doesn't mean that it, that's how it's actually done. That proved the fans' theories that Potenza didn't even watch the episode. This fact made the Total Drama Reunion fans even more mad. So with that, it started a civil war. Do we really, really want to start a civil war? I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to shoot him. I just want to talk to him. You can't shoot him! Wait, what? What are you... The conflict between Fresh TV and Total Drama Reunion fans continued a long time, and some of the fans defend the show even in the present. But all the hate and conflict didn't help the situation. The full season wasn't ever coming back. Fortunately, Blue Productions got a lot of support and fans from this situation. So, with his newfound fame and all of the eyes on him, he decided to make two new series called The Mystery of Kruger Mansion and Retro Reality, starring the one and only Ronald Chaddington. Man, what a great name. Anyway, on April 18th this year, Blue Production dropped a bombshell. Total Drama Reunion is officially coming back. In a Reddit post, he revealed that the anticipated season is likely to air this summer in 2023. But here's the catch. It won't be a full season, just one full episode to give the fan-made season a perfect closure. It probably wouldn't be a continuation to the first episode, as Blue clarified in a reply to a fan on YouTube. For now, this is everything we know, but the season should come soon as there is only one month of summer left. When I met you in the summer. Anyway, thanks for sticking around till the end. What do you think is gonna happen in the final episode of Total Drama Reunion? Let us know in the comments below. While you are there, don't forget to press that juicy subscribe button. Goodbye and see you next time. Okay, bye.